This call may be recorded or transcribed. It's an awesome day at Declare Victory. My name is Andrew. Who's with me on the call? I serve a risen Savior. He's in the world today. I know that he is with me, whenever men will say. I feel his hand of mercy. I hear his voice of cheer. And just the time I need him, he's always near. He lives. He lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me. He talks with me. A long night, narrow way. He lives. He lives. Salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives? He lives within my heart. Rejoice, rejoice, O oh Christian. Lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujah to Jesus Christ our King. The hope of all who need him, the hope of all will find none other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives. He lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me. He talks with me. A long night, narrow way. He lives. He lives. Salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives? He lives within my heart. And yours too. This is a faithful Friday at the Clear Victory. My name is Andrew. Who's with me on this wondrous call? On a hill, far away, to an old rugged cross. Those songs mean so much, and many church, many churches don't sing them anymore. They don't play them anymore. They go for the most recent or popular song. But in me, they still strike a chord. And I can, I can just see the, the older saints who sang those, those wonderful songs. It's, it's, it's just amazing. And like I said, it's still, still strikes the chord. But it's a faithful Friday. My name is Andrew. I'm your host. Who's with me on this wondrous Friday morning? It's the clear victory, y'all. Good morning, it's Sylvia. Good morning, Sylvia. Happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We're still celebrating Resurrection Day. That's that's right. And and, at a time like this, it's just so necessary. There's so much death and dying around us whether it's on these shores or coming through on the TV reports and on social media, how many innocent people are being, like, massacred, hunted down, 
just happened to be in the wrong place. You know, one young gentleman played for the Steelers, was 24 years old, went to show by gas because apparently one of his uh, vehicles was out of gas, was on the highway, and the guy is not small. He played quarterback, but he's over six five. And it's Good morning, it's Susie. Good morning, Susie. Happy Friday. Good morning, Brother Andrew. How are you? Oh, uh, good. Uh, good. I'm, I'm still celebrating Resurrection Sunday. Oh. All right. Yeah. You have a wonderful, and, huh? Yeah. You oh. have a blessed day also. You have a wonderful day. God bless you, and let's talk soon. Thank you. Yes. Okay. But, but with so much death being reported back and forth in the world, uh, both through families celebrating Res- Resurrection Sunday, ain't seen so bad a week later. And today, this morning, I just want to put that thought in the family's ears, eyes, foot, and head that were still celebrating that our Savior lives. And because there's life in Him, there should be life in us. Happy Friday, Sister Yvonne. All the time, God is good. So good to hear you this morning. Good to hear you. Have a blessed day. You too. I'll do my level best. Oh, God is good today. God is good. I have a prayer request. Oh, okay. This is Sylvia again. I want to uh, lift up the Connors family. Um, young man that grew up in our church. He uh, had a terrible accident a um, week before it last. And he was about 35 years old. Died on the scene. It's a really big family. We all grew up together in uh, San Francisco. So I just want to lift up the Connors family this morning. On the loss okay. of their life. That that name is Connors. Yeah, C O N N O R S. Gotcha. Good morning, this is Diane. Good morning, Diane. Happy Good Friday. morning, Andrew. Happy Friday. So good to hear you. Good to hear you too. Going on you. Good morning. Hey, this is Stephanie saying good morning to everyone. Have a blessed day, sister. Yeah, we're. we're say good morning, we're, Andrew. I just want to say good morning, Stevie. I love you. I love you back, Stevie. Happy Friday. Good morning, Andrew. It's Miss B. Happy Friday. Good to hear your hey. sound. Hey, Miss B. Happy Friday. You want to keep in everybody's mind, we still have the bereaved on our hearts. And it seems that there's everywhere you turn around, there are more and more bereaved people's hearts. And we need we need to lift them up. Some are close to us. Some are known by us. Others are unknown and very far away. But there are people grieving now because there's so much death around us. And sometimes you just get wearied by it all. 
but we need to lift them up. Scriptures tell us that Solomon says it. That's the end of everyone. Every family, everybody walking is going to know someone who has died. And you're going to need comfort then. We have to request God comfort those same-minded people now because you will need it before too long. If you get blessed with a long life, you're going to be affected by a lot of the people that you know and love leaving before you. You're going to have to deal with that. Okay? This is where you get healed to having them on your heart so people will have you on their heart when your time comes. a happy day to declare victory our Savior lives who's with me on the call good morning happy Friday it's Chris Shonda so excited Um, hi Hi. Um, I'm glad uh, to hear your voice and I'm so excited about uh, miracles signs and wonders in your life brother God bless you Thank you. Thank you. Have a blessed day. You too. Thank you. (laughs) On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross, the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross with the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross Till my trophies at last, I lay down. I will cling to the old rugged rock and exchange it someday for a crown. To the old rugged rock, I will ever be true. Its shame and reproach, I'll gladly bear. Then he'll call me someday to my home far away. For the glory forever I'll share. And I'll cherish that old rugged cross. Show my. Hello? Hello. We're here. Still here. Did I miss someone? Okay. I will cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies at last I laid down. And I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. I, 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 love, I love that song. And again, please, people, lift your voices and your minds to those hearts where uh, Resurrection Sunday Easter was not easy for people because it was the first Easter without name that family member, name that cousin. It's the first Easter when we're not in our home because of the financial stresses from the virus. We're, this is the first Easter where we had to celebrate in someone else's basement or someone else's parking lot because our church had a fire in the last couple months and we weren't able to convene where we usually go. There's been stress and strife and just the weight of the cares of the day on people's shoulders. So, you know, there were some people, this was their first Resurrection Sunday in hospice care, the first Resurrection Sunday with no family visiting. And it wasn't all, you know, candy baskets for the for the kids. 
and, you know, a big gathering with family and loved ones. Some people had it really uh, upsolved them. Okay. And some, it wasn't really cheery. So we need to keep those people, those people we tend to forget or just uh, clip it off where, oh, okay, that's a, that's a shame. You didn't have nobody. But it's just after the fact, and the pain, a lot of times, just grows to even. So we're lifting those parts up, just in case. According to the clock on the wall, I need to address the matters of the morning. And so I'm going to ask you for your help. If you could just check your phone or your computer, activate the mute feature, and let us proceed into getting started. But I need you to block away all the other sounds and goings on so we can just take a few minutes to give God this part of our morning and let him get our lives started. Hello again. I'm still Andrew, and I'm still your host. Thank you for joining us here at Declare Victory. Who are we? This is who we are. We are a prayer call, and we meet Monday through Friday, starting at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 8 a.m. Central Time, or 9 a.m. Eastern Time, and we're here to edify, empower, encourage, and equip you with your walk with Christ. Please be sure to continue joining for the last week of April, where our monthly theme is entitled, An Illogical Faith. All the declarations will focus on the importance of having a logical faith considering the will and plan of God, which allows us to walk, live with purpose, and peace. There is one announcement today. There is no Friday Night Live tonight. It will resume on April 29th. Prayer requests submitted on the online app are zero, except we're still praying for the bereavement of the sales family. Karina was asking last week for traveling grace and mercy, and we covered her. But the sales family is still bereaved, and we're going to continue to lift them up. We're also continuing to lift up the other issues of where our prayers this morning should be angled. We're still praying for the children. We're still praying for the children in the Ukraine area and all the areas where families are rushing to protect their their little ones in the, the, the red glare of another country wanting to kill civilians and not caring that they're not carrying guns. They just want to hurt people. Not everybody is going to be kind to these people. Some will offer them food for ridiculous amounts of money. Some will give them water at the same rate. They may not be able to get both. It's cold. And people tend to take advantage of people who have nothing to give but themselves, forward abuse goes on on the back back areas, and um, I'm, 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 please lift the children, lift the mothers of the children, the sisters, the young brothers, the parents, lift all of those before the Lord. 
including the kids that have to go to school over here, that are incarcerated over here. We're asking prayer for the world leaders, the, the military men who are the military men who are protecting these people on the run, the military men who are fighting to save their country, the military men who are waiting and have their families worried when we're told that they will not be going over in any combative situation, but one knows that when one is fired upon, one fires back. So we're praying for the safety of our U.S. troops, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. We're praying for the leaders of them that they use the wisdom of the Lord to get through the situation. We're praying for the pastorate. We're praying for the slave people who do so much work on their feet and on their knees. We're praying for the first responders. We're praying for the people in hospice, the, the caregivers, and the people receiving care. We're praying for those people on street corners who are asking you, are you saved? The ones that aren't afraid of the gospel and they're standing where people can hear them and scoff at them and blindly not listen to them as they preach the word in random places. We're praying for those people. And we're praying for ourselves that we keep each other moving. We keep each other going on with a nice, kind word. We hug each other because hugs translate so much peace. And we're, we're here praying for <coughs> strength. Order of the call is as follows. Prayer and corporate praise will be brought by Brother Martin. Declaration will be brought by Brother Jonathan. That order once again. Prayer and corporate praise will be brought by Brother Martin. Declaration will be brought by Brother Jonathan. Immediately following Brother Johnson, Jonathan, I'm sorry, will take us through final section and answer any questions regarding his declaration that he brought. Love, life, and victory will be under his direction. Scripture for today is found in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 3. For we remember before our God and Father how you put your faith into practice, how your love made you work so hard, and how your hope in our Lord Jesus Christ is firm. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and doing of his holy word. This time we ask you to check one more time just to make sure that the new feature is still with you and activating. I'll pass the call to Brother Marcus. God bless you all. Our Father and our God, we want to first say good morning and we appreciate you for waking us up this morning and allowing us to be in our right minds, to have our faculties, to have our the activity of our limbs. We thank you, O oh God, for blessing us today to be in the land of the living. We appreciate you. We thank you so much for all that you've done for us. Um, we thank you, God, that you even had us in mind. We didn't deserve 
the blessings that you have given and bestowed upon us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Father God, for thinking of us, for having us in mind. Thank you, O oh God, for watching over us through the night, keeping our um, home safe and our loved ones safe and our belongings safe. Bless you. We thank you. We, we, we wake this morning to worship you and to honor you for all that you've done and all that you continue to do for us in our lives. Thank you, O oh God, for instilling with us, within us the power um, that you give us because of because of your son, we are instilled with power from on high. Thank you, God, also because of your son, that his blood has given us healing, and we thank you for that. We thank you, God, that you sacrificed your only son so that we could have uh, life and that more abundantly. We appreciate you, oh God. God, we want to say uh, a special prayer for each and every person that's on this line right now. God, you know their need, their desire. God, you hear our thoughts. You, you've heard the prayer requests. God, you even know what's in our hearts. Um, and so, God, we come today to offer our requests unto you, God, that you would honor those requests. God, you even know the requests that haven't been spoken out loud. I pray, God, that you would honor them now in the name of Jesus. God, I pray that you would um, give us the wherewithal to understand what direction in our lives you want us to go. God, what direction you have planned for us. God, help us to tap into your will. Tap into uh, what your plan is for us, oh God. Help us to understand that there is a plan and that we uh, should seek you for it, and we thank you for it. God, help us to not be swayed and discouraged by the circumstances and what's going on in our lives, but help us to understand that you are in the midst of it all. God, that uh, as, this, as your word says, that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord and to them who are called according to uh, your purpose. And so, Lord, we trust you and we believe God, that you have a plan, and so we want to walk out that plan. We want to live out that plan. We want to do what you called us to do. So, God, we lift up children uh, right now in the name of Jesus. You know the need and the desire, God. Every child that's represented on this call, God, we pray that you would bless them in a special way. God, our children are in special need now. God, I pray that you would bless them, God. God, that you would help uh, help them to be the best them that they could be. Bless the adults that are around them. God, that they're a great influence, that they're a, a, a good influence on the children everywhere, and not just in America, around the world. God, we want our future uh, citizens to become uh, great people. And so, Lord, we pray that you would put people in their lives to lead them and guide them and show them the way. And we thank you for it now. God, you know the, the need of every parent on the call right now. Bless them in the name of Jesus. And parents around the world, people who are parents of children, I pray that you bless them, grandparents, and those that have influence on children, uh, whether they're educators or any kind of leaders that um, that lead children or, or, or influence children in any way. Bless them in a special way in the name of Jesus. God, I pray a special prayer for married couples right now. Bless them. Touch them, God. Lead them in the name of Jesus. Lead them in the light of the truth, God. Help them to, to lean and depend on you. Uh, bless their marriage, God. Set your hand of approval uh, upon them right now in the name of Jesus. I, God, I, I pray that you would give them the wisdom to follow you and to seek your face in all they do, to seek you individually and to seek you um, collectively as a unit. I pray, God, that you would bless right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you. I pray a prayer for all of the declarers, all of those who give a word or say a prayer on this call. 
to bless them right now. You know their needs. You know their lives, situations. You know what's happening. And God, I just pray that you'll bless them in the name of Jesus. God, all the leaders of Declare Victory, all those who do things in the background, touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for them, for um, being dedicated and, 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 and just being committed to doing the job and to getting it done. We appreciate you, oh God. We appreciate them, oh God. God, I pray for uh, all of our uh, political leaders and local and political leaders. Bless them in the name of Jesus. God, touch them right now. God, we pray that you would stir them up in the name of Jesus. God, that they would um, be touched by your hand. God, that you would breathe on uh, all these situations that are happening in our community and uh, in our state and in our world, in our country and in our world that you will bless our leaders everywhere. Touch President Biden and his family and his cabinet. And uh, we also pray for um, Vice President Kamala Harris. Bless her and her family and all the people that are working with her. Now we pray that you will bless uh, the, our, our country. God, touch right now. Rebuke the hand of the enemy that comes to take us backwards. Um, in this country. We pray, God, that you would move us forward. God, that we would move forward with, with things that are dated back, things that are held back. Uh, we pray, God, that you would help us to, to, to come out of this pandemic strong, God, with a strong finish. God, I know that you can do it. God, it is, and with all the things that are happening right now, God, you're able to deliver us. God, we don't want to rush but God, we do want deliverance. We seek it right now. And God, I pray that even as we come out of it, that when we come out, we'll come out better than we went in. And we thank you, oh God. We bless you, oh God. Bless our churches everywhere. There's so many churches that are closing down and pastors that are giving up and, and people who are just quitting, um, quitting the ministry. I pray, God, that you will bless the church churches right now, God, that they would be um, the churches that you called them to be. Strengthen them, lift them up. God, help them to go forward and realize that people are dying and souls need to be saved and lives need to be changed. And we bless you for it. Uh, we thank you for it and we honor you for it. God, right now, uh, we just want to thank you for Every person that's on this call, even those who are having the first time joining this call, God, we pray that you will bless them to get something out of it. We pray a special word over the declarer. God, as we prepare to hear the word from them, God, that you will bless them right now. God, anoint them to speak your word, and we bless you for it. We honor you for it. Now, God, as we take our phones off mute, we give you, we lift up our voices and give you praise. God, we're going to take our phones off mute and Thank worship you. Father, you. We're going to give you the glory. We're going to give you the praise and, and, and worship that you deserve. We're going to glorify you. We're going to magnify you. We're going to lift you up. Because you're more You're more you are magnificent and we lift you up. We glorify you. We magnify you. We say thank you for all that you are. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. Hallelujah. We praise you. Thank you, God. God. We magnify your name, Lord. We give you Thank all you the glory and the praise. The Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for waking us up this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord.
to God be the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Shift it. Thank you, Jesus. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You, Thank you. Hallelujah. Higher. Mm, we give you glory. Thank you. Uh, as we progress forward, I would ask that everyone check your phone. Make sure you are Make sure you are mute. Ah, eh, na 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 you. Ah, stir it, God. Ah. Whew, glory to God. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. I hear that. Hey, to God be the glory. Here, God, here. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. For all the things he has done. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. For all the things He has done by His love. Is saving with power, he has raised me to God be the glory for all the things he has done. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. 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 If you're able to hear me right where you are and you can, I need you to lift your hand. Ah, We declare peace now. Oh, oh, we declare peace now. God comfort now. Seek Ah, thank you. Ah. Comfort care, God. Comfort care now. Show your hand mighty. God, in the places where their hands are lifted, I pray that your spirit would begin to set down there. Father, take up residence there. God, do a new thing as your word declares. We unlock and open now. Yes, Lord. We unlock and open now every barrier that is illegally barricaded them in. God, we speak to their atmosphere and cause it to be conducive for miracles, signs, and wonders. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take authority now. We take authority now. I speak life now. We we declare life now. We declare to every word of the enemy, every assigned word, every covert word, every operative word. We take authority now over the atmosphere and we declare that the fire of God consume every word of the enemy. We return it to sender now. And we declare life where death was spoken. We declare life where death was breathed. We declare life where death was believed. God, we declare life. Put your lips to their nostrils and breathe again. Breathe again. Holy Spirit, breathe again. God, by your spirit and the angels, we contend for their mind now. Ah, Right where they are. God, do it. Disturb the plan now. And the glory of God be revealed. Oh, And the life of God spring forth. I pray now. I release the rivers of deep to come forth unhindered. Oh, 
head of the whole. God, we give you glory. Oh, oh Lord, ha, 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 thank you. We give you glory. Mm. We give you glory. We we give you glory. We give you glory. Ha. Yes, Lord. Ha ha. You are revealed. Under the Bosha. Sweet through God. With sweet peace. Ooh, glory to God. And we give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, we, we give you glory. I tell them, Ah, Hallelujah. We thank God uh, for this favor filled Friday. Um, hallelujah. We thank God because He is Alpha and Omega. We thank Him because He is our God and we are His people and the apple, the, sh- the apple of His eye, the, the pit of pat of His heart. Um, we belong to Him and He is our God and our Father. And for that, we honor Him today. I, I do since the spirit of the Lord doing a new thing. I'm not sure who it's for, but I know that it's not by chance or happenstance that you hear my voice today, nor is it by chance or happenstance that you have endured the week the way that you've endured. Um, I'm here to encourage you. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, we do declare life today. We declare that this is not the end for you, but this is the beginning. Uh, that you will know that God has done this thing, that God has been there with you, that you will know that God is sovereign. Hey. Yes, Lord. Ha. Uh, that you, you you are not operating in your own strength or your own power, but the power of God is your portion. Uh, that he he indeed hears your cry. And you are close to his heart. Um, I'm here to encourage you this morning. Hi, yeah. Oh God. Hey, to the individual that said that this is the it, this is the end, this is the, the finish of it. I'm here to tell you and warn you that you are too close uh, to showing what God is about to do. You're too close uh to the breakthrough, you're too close. Uh, you're too close. You're too close. You're too close. You're too close. Ha, ha! Breathe again. Charge of God now. Put your hand in the back, God, and your lips to the ear, and speak a word now. Ah, God, charge them, quicken them like never before. And we declare, God, that this is the day of life and resurrection. We declare it. We speak it. We experience it. We encounter it. Ah, uh, we expect it, God. I'm here uh, to encourage you. Um, I sense the spirit of the Lord today. And I want you to be encouraged right where you are. I, I promise I'm not going to be uh, before you long. I, I, I just want to give you something really quick. Um, when I when we first started this thing out, we kicked off um, talking about illogical faith, and I begin to tell you uh, that God has a a level of faith, uh, or He has a level of confidence. In you, he has a level of trust higher, 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 he has a level of trust, he has a level of confidence in you, he's, he's brings you to a thing because he has faith in, 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 in you, he, he knows uh, the thoughts that he has concerning you uh, uh, before your mother and father got together, uh, uh, he knew you. Uh, 
Uh, he knew who you were. He knew what you needed. He knew what to put on the inside of you uh, so that you would produce at the appropriate time. And so I'm here to give you uh, an encouraging word uh, in your illogical faith, in the, the place of your illogical faith. I need you to know that there is a place where you then have to present your faith uh, to God because of what God said. Uh, beloved, I'm here to encourage you today to know that when you are in this place, this current situation that you're in, that this is the place where you present it to God and you say to God, you said, according to your word, that you would do exceeding abundant above all that I ask or thought. And I bring this to you. You said that you would bless me indeed. You said that you would enlarge higher my territory. You said that you would comfort me uh, when I'm discomforted. God, you said that you are my father. And because you are my father and because you are sovereign, I present this thing to you here. Uh, I, can I tell you that this is the place and the part of your illogical faith uh, that is the most uncomfortable? Yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. Uh, I, I'm here to tell you that this is the part of your illogical faith uh, that that when you saw, uh, when when God showed you bits and pieces of it, He didn't show you this part because this is the part where you are clothed in the backside of the mountain. This is the part where He hides you. Uh, according to the book of, of, of the Exodus, where he hides you in the cleft of the rock so that his glory uh, can be revealed. Uh, let me help you out with a couple of things. When you begin to look at that portion of scripture, uh, the, when you look at the, the meaning of what it means to hide away like that or, or the cleft there, it means that God puts you in the place to produce. It is almost the equivalent of, of one who is expecting in pregnancy. Yes. So so now you are expecting, uh, you are in the place where it's about to be time to push. <laughs> Oh, God. Uh, so the reason that you have endured and it felt so hard the way it's felt is because, uh, my, my dear friend, you are in the third trimester. You are in the place where it's time uh, to bear down and, and push. You are in the place now uh, of the producing push. You are in the place of your faith now where it does not seem easy. And you're in the place now in your faith where it does not seem like God is there. But can I tell you that it's in this place that God is absolutely the closest. And, and in this season of your faith, in this place of your faith, God, I thank you, that this place is about to produce because of your push. If we were in person, I'd tell you to look at somebody and say, get ready to push. It's time to bear down. It's time to get in to the birthing position. Uh, the reason that you're not comfortable where you were, uh, God, hallelujah. The reason you are not comfortable anymore is because you are in the position where you now have to push what God has showed you. You now have to push in the place of your faith until you produce what it is that God showed you visions of, until you begin to see what well, the, the, the place where God is about to take you because now this thing is crowning. You are in the position now uh, to know that the glory of the Lord is going to be revealed. The glory of God will be revealed. The glory of God will be revealed. The glory of God will be revealed. Uh, on yesterday, I, I went to go get me something to eat. And, and as I got out of the car, I began to watch the sky. I've been watching the sky here lately. I, and, and, and it's been interesting to me. I say, you know, if you grew up in the country, you, you kind of know and can sense what's happening. But I heard uh, on the inside, my country prophet begin to act up. 
and, and I begin to watch the sky. And as I begin to see the sky, I could begin to smell the air. I begin to hear the atmosphere begin to shift. And as I was standing outside yesterday, I said out loud, oh, it's about to shift. And it's about to be a big one. And somebody looked at me and said, what are you talking about? I say, it's about to rain. It's about to shift. And it's about to be a big one. It's about to be a crazy rain. But as we were standing there, they looked at me and they shook their head as to say, oh, mister, you don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy. And as we're standing there, not even five minutes, the rain, the, excuse me, the wind began to pick up first. And I said, oh, here comes the wind. And look at it do what it do. Oh, that looks pretty to me. And the, as we're standing there, the wind began to kick up. But as the wind kicked up, I heard the rain do a tip tap tip-tap, and all of a sudden, the cloud opened up, and the rain began to pour, and they looked at me and shook their head again in disbelief, and I looked at them, and I said, I told you it's about to rain. You better get ready. Uh, can I tell you, in this season, that God's glory will be revealed. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. That the glory of God is about to be revealed. And so it rained, it rained, it rained. And I'm in Richmond, California, and, and it began to rain and just rained and it rained and it rained. And then the rain stopped. And I'm I'm enjoying the rain. And I say, okay, God, this is this is interesting. And and and, and the Lord with me begins to paint a word picture. And as I'm moving from the destination that I was at to get to a different destination, uh, because the rain had and the 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 the, the sun the, the everything was now saturated and so uh as it's now saturated i'm trying to maneuver but i'm now in an issue because the rain has stopped the atmosphere has shifted and now the sun is out remember i told you that everything is saturated so in the movies what they do uh in order for you to be able to see everything properly they begin to go and they wet the set depending on where it is so that when they open up the camera and turn on the lights, the lights will bounce off in such a way that will cause natural uh, radiance. It will cause natural lighting. And so yesterday, although I'm used to seeing the sun come out after it rains, uh, yesterday was a little bit different because as I'm writing and my eyes are sensitive, um, I, I now have an issue with with going uh, uh, the way that I know to go because the radiancy of the sun uh, bouncing off of the reflection of the water of the rain that just came is, is, is really, really bright. And I'm going, Lord, you're going to have to help me through this. And I heard the Lord say, it the glory. Wait a minute, God, what do you mean? All that happened was it began to rain. And I began to go and understand what God was saying is that this next level, uh, because of the pour out that God is going to allow, that the radiance of his glory is going to be so great that you're going to have to change your eyes a little bit to see exactly what's going on. Let me help you with the word glory. See, when we talk about glory, we just say glory and let's leave it there. But can I tell you that part of the thing about glory, it, it, it talks about the beauty. Uh, and when you begin to talk about glory, see when glory happens, uh, it's, it's a reflection of what really was. It's a reflection of what really is. So when you say that God's glory is about to be revealed, it's a reflection of the power of God. It's a reflection of who God really is on your life. Let me help you also see when you also talk about glory. One of the other definitions to glory, uh, God, is the establishment of rank. So you mean to tell me that this that you're going through, although it's rough and crazy, when I said and declared that the glory of God shall be revealed, what I am saying is, is not only the reflection of who God really is will be revealed in your life, but the rank of God will be revealed in your life. Why? Because of my illogical, erratical faith, because of my radical faith, illogical Faith. Because of my faith in God, I, I now look for God to show up in such a way. Hallelujah. Uh, I look for God to show up in such a manner 
that anything that looks like uh, uh, anything that looks at me won't see me, but they'll see God's reflection. Oh, God, could you imagine uh, the sun, that which we use daylight with, the sun, uh, God, the sun that sits in the sky, hallelujah, the sun that sits in the sky is only a small dot of who God really is. Can you could you imagine that this next level, because of your faith, uh this next level, you will only be a small dot of who God really is because of your faith, because of the place that God has shown and poured out on you and now shown on you because now they need to know that this is truly God. Uh, they need to know uh, about your faith. So your atmosphere now is being charged for miracles, signs, and wonders. I'm telling you uh, that we that I look for a report of doctor reports changing. Uh, this this is this is how I feel and see it. Uh, I, I look for documents that are are written and typed in black and white to be rewritten because something changed for the better and for what for God's glory to be revealed. Can I tell you, beloved, uh, that the Lord is our strong power? I, I promise y'all, I did some study. I did, I did, uh, and 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 I, and I, I want to give you just a portion uh, of, of Psalms forty six. Uh, 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 in in the King James version, uh, when you get a chance, I want you to go and read it. But the King James version says, "Be still." Especially no. in you guys, in you guys' area, they uh, and please put your phone on mute. In your area, thank you. Uh, uh, the Bible says, according to King James version, "Be still and know." that I am God. Uh, Be still and know that I am God. I am the Lord of hosts. Um, uh, I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us, and the God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah which means to stop, pause, and think. And I want you to understand that in this season that God is your refuge. He is your hiding space. He is your spot of strength. So as you go through in your your faith, in your illogical faith, it, that, that you now come to the position where you have done what you have supposed to do. You have put your feet to the to the ground, your feet to the works of it, and your faith now has worked, and you've exhausted all that you've done and know to do, and you know now, God, I, 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 I want to give up. I, God, I don't see, I don't understand why It's like this. I've done everything that you said to do. But in this place, give thanks because the glory of God shall be revealed. God is your refuge. God is your strength. Uh, One translation said it like this. Desist and realize that I am God. I dominate the nations. I dominate the earth. I am the Lord of hosts. I am with you. I am the God of Jacob. I am your haven. I want you to understand that God has not forgotten about you. In this place, in your illogical faith, uh, over in the New Testament, this watch this. This 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 absolutely cracks me up every time I hear it. And then I, over in Luke chapter eleven, verse thirteen. Excuse me. Let me do this. Verse ten. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. 
and to him that knocketh it shall be open. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask for an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, to them that ask? I need you to know that God has not forgotten about you. And just like you can ask or your children can ask and you provide for your children, yes, I like the way that sounds, Lord. Your life is the providence of God's reign. <laughs> oh, your life is the providence of God's sovereignty. Let me let me let me let me interject this here. When we talk about providence, providence is usually under the king, and for that area, he has to provide. It is his obligation to provide. So, in your illogical faith. I would that you would be encouraged. In your illogical faith, I would that you know that God is sovereign, that God is king. Watch this. Not only are, is he those things, but when it boils down, we have the same DNA. So I can ask my father, and it is his, watch, not only his obligation, but the scripture says he joys. He delights in making provision for his children. In your illogical faith, I want you to be encouraged in this area and know that God is your father and he just happens to be a king and he's sovereign in his kingship. With that, I hope there was something said and heard that would bless your life and will cause you to be able to carry forward and carry on uh, to expect God in such a way that you that you know only God did it, but it causes others to say, how could it be done? May your life become a testimony in these next few months of the glory of God, the rank of God the beauty of God, the established weight of God on your life. With that, I would like to open the call for those of you that would like to say good morning. Hello, how are you? Let's say, let's start off with a good morning. Good morning. It's sunshine. Happy Friday. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Catherine. Good, Good morning. morning. Nice declaration. Good, Good morning. morning. Thank you for your decoration. Good morning. Good morning. To God be the glory. Good morning. This is Yolanda. Thank you for your declaration. Good morning, Yolanda. Good morning. This is Shirley. Good morning. Good morning. It's Krishanda. Thank you for your prayer and your awesome declaration. I Good bless morning. you, man of God. Oh. Oh, Good God. morning. This is Juanita. Awesome declaration. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Good morning. morning. Good morning, Jubilant. Good morning, Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Ms. Patsy. Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Mary. Good morning. Good morning, it's Natasha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good morning. Mm-hmm. 
Hey, good morning. I usually save them, save room for everybody else. This is Tanya, not Tanya. I just wanted to acknowledge this morning um, uh, what I heard, um, the skillful way in which you entered into warfare. Um, uh, thank you for interceding for whoever that was, that word was for. I heard your prophetic gift. It was a lot going on this morning. Um, and I geared up, <laughs> I geared up and I was ready. I was ready for whatever, but man of God, you handled it so skillfully, so gracefully uh, until it was silent. And I, I appreciate your ability, your tenacity, and your ability to move forward and your obedience, um, your, your obedience. Thank you so much. Yes. Yes. Jonathan, Elder I have John. to uh, tag in with Tan on that as well. This is Didi, and it was so much warfare, even during prayer, that that press was necessary. I mean, it was I. Oh man. So yeah, I, I agree with her when you're we're on this subject of um, faith. So I'm not I'm not surprised that the enemy is upset. So even with the disruption during the prayer and how you press through, I appreciate mm -hmm. you. Love you, and I'm covering. You. Thank you. I want to jump in, Elder Jonathan, as well. Um, yeah, I you came in opening the door, clearing the floor, um, I, just to hear you do it. But I, I see you do it um, all the time, every time you open up your mouth. And I just want to also say that I declare and decree um, your declaration um, over my life. I receive it on today. Thank you for this favor. Feel Friday, declare. Love you. And hi, Charlotte. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyone else to say good morning? Thank you. Yes, good hey, morning, good morning. Elder Moxie. Moxie. Mm -hmm. Sorry, go ahead. Good, good morning. Good no, go morning. ahead, Moxie. Good morning. This is Nezzy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Elder Jonathan. This is uh, per Persistent Priscilla. Thank you for the beautiful declaration. Um, yeah, I received that word. Uh, thank you. It was definitely uh, all that the others have said and then some, but uh, man of God, I do appreciate you very much. God be praised. Mm. Glory to God. If there's no more good mornings, um, Good morning, God. Good morning, this is Jeff G. I haven't Good been morning. on for a while, but I'm just going to coming on to say thank you. I needed that, and I'll just leave it at that. But appreciate you. Live. Live. Breathe and live. It's your portion. Thank you, Jesus. Well, if there's no one else to say good morning, um, uh, inputs, thoughts, comments, commentary. The God be praised. Because I'm at work and I'm trying to prepare before the baby start coming in. But oh, thank you for what you said as far as um shift and change and how things are going to change even things that might be already written documented doctors reports are changing because to be honest with my family right now the anxiety that i've been fighting because i have some procedures coming up um and the enemy does try to get in your head about to cast down and activate that faith and know what you just said just know that um that even with that I know, and I say that when I go for my next appointment, everything's going to already be changed. So I thank you just for um, igniting that in me and that fire. And I know why the distraction is what it is, because when the enemy can get you thrown off and that fear, it's, you know, and fear tries to creep in, I just know. So your declaration this morning, um, Elder Jonathan, I pre man, oh, your worship is just how you worship him, the love that you have for God and for me. I feel it 
like you were praying specifically for me, even though you don't know exactly what it is I'm facing, I know that you know. So I thank God. I'm so fired up this morning that if I ran around this school, the people would come get me and put the little white jacket on me. But I thank God for you, man. I really do. Hallelujah. I thank God for you. He's got the little white jacket. Oh, God. I want to say this, and 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 then we'll we'll move. Um, in this season of y'all's faith, whenever you get a chance, see, okay, make it make sense. Um, in this season of your faith, you have to know that there are places that your faith will absolutely be tried. That's the first thing, and it's not so much as your faith for the situation. But I need you to remember your faith in God. That's what it, but your confidence in God, your trust in God, your belief in God. And so that's what will be challenged, not necessarily the situation, but your trust, your belief, your, your, your faith in who God is. So this is, this is, these are some, some instructions for you. Um, when you feel that, and, and like I said earlier, some some of you are in the the third trimester, and it's about time that you've been to push and produce the thing that 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 the faith that you've been been living for. But when you get to the place where um, the enemy begins to hover like that, y'all have to know that that's the same spirit that a buzzard would operate in. And the only time buzzards come around is when they think something is about to die. Hear me, hear me well. So if you're in the place and in the position where it seems like the enemy is hovering overhead, I need you to understand that a buzzard cannot be sin, vultures cannot be sin unless it is no movement at all. So in this place, you have to learn how to do something that's going to cause the, 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 the buzzards not to be able to land. But the Bible says that God inhabits, dwells, sits down in the midst of your praise. So your praise may not be at all times the shout like you normally can shout. And when I say shout, I mean S-H-O-T out of your mouth. Hallelujah. That may not be what it may be all the time. But you may at some point be only able to just whisper with tears in your eyes, God, I thank you. I believe your glory will be revealed. And as long as you speak these words of praise, watch this. And every once in a while, throw your hands up and wave it. Because now that creates a place for the Spirit of God to sit down in. If you can't dance like everybody else dance, that's not a problem. Um, I'm going to tell you something that was taught to me years ago. A dance is not something that God gives you, but a dance is something that you give God. And you don't need the, the, the hammer and bee to make sure you're on beat. If all you do is pick them up and put them down, I move my feet spiritually, physically, and mentally so, so that anything around knows that I'm not dead. I'm still alive. And because I'm alive, Christ will get the glory from this. God's glory will be revealed. God's rank will be revealed. God's authority will be revealed. Any questions, comments, commentary? Anybody else? All right. This is Jonathan. This is, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. Um, good morning. Thank you so much for that word. And I, I appreciate God for just how he continues to encourage us and continues to give us. He said that he won't do anything unless, unless he allows his prophets to know. And I thank God for how he sends us prophetic words to let us look up, remind us, look up, look, watch, see, because there is a shift. There's a shift, and God, I just really thank God for being able to see and feel and notice the shift and be able to flow with the shift, no matter what else is going on. 
Well, thanks be to God. God bless you. I appreciate you, man of God. Stop your grace. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, that P R E I G N S. Say that again. I said, thank you that he, R-E-I-G-N-S, that he reigns, and mm-hmm. he R-A-I-N-S, he reigns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm going to tell y'all what I hear in my ear. He's finna reign, R-A-I-N. <laughs> it's about to rain. It's about to rain. It's about to rain. Hallelujah. Uh, It's about to rain. Don't back up. Don't cower down. Get it in your head. Don't be ashamed of it. Do not apologize for it. But you didn't go through what you went through just to say you went through it. No, no, no. I told you that your life is the providence of God's reign. Hey. So, 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 what's about to happen is it's not just going to be seen for you to see, but it's going to be seen for other people to ask you how you got over. It's going to be, it's going to happen so that you now have the ability to witness and say, only God. If you're not journaling and documenting these times, I want you to start doing it. Um, keep a note of it, however. Keep a date. Keep a time. Um, I want. I, I, I say it like this because, um, and anyone that is, has ever, uh, if you ever hear me say, mark the time, take a look and note of the time and know what time the word came forth and then take note of when the time, uh, when the thing happened. Um, I, I hear that in my spirit, um, that you're walking because of this, this season of faith, you're walking into open doors, um, some 30, 60, and 100 fold, but even a thousand fold, even the thousand fold. So, so don't be ashamed of what's about to occur. Uh, because only God can do it, and only God's glory can be revealed from it. You'll just be reflecting his glory. Is there anyone else? It's Krishanda again. I just want to say thank you for the confirming word. Mm-hmm. For God be the glory. Well, breathe again, y'all. Um, it is 717. Um, going to do let's let's do this really quick and then we'll close out yes i just this is jubilant i i couldn't let you go for this tell, without telling you it was so i i got on late but thank you jesus i got on late and i heard you singing this morning and I was just talking to the Lord. It was almost like when I was talking to him about you were encouraging us about about pushing. And mm-hmm. wanna thank you for being obedient this morning because I needed to hear that song and mm-hmm. I needed to hear what went forth after that. But it was just I was just arrested when you hearing you sing that song this morning and I just just wanted to I needed to just say that to me you know I can't say that mother too I'm a so cool to say that this morning. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Every time you get on, mm-hmm. always speaking. It's, it's almost like just you're always speaking while I'm talking to the Lord about. It. So I just wanted to just you know just just thank you for being obedient this morning. 
if you're in a place where you can lift your hands um, and you can you can you can go on mute, um, lift your hands and hear me. Yes, Lord. I speak to the storm of the mind. And as Jesus spoke peace, I first speak that he be revealed in the midst of it. Uh As Jesus appeared to them on the water, and commanded Peter to walk, I speak that your faith be encouraged. In the place where the the mind has produced this storm, I speak that the manifestation of the Christ, the chosen one of God, the Messiah, would make himself known to you in your faith and your faith walk. I declare now not only peace in your walk, but I also declare that you would experience the tangible manifestation of the power and the presence of God to the point that you may have to pull over and exalt him the way you feel. I pray now that the Spirit of God would hover and in co and in camp and in close in case you in his presence like never before to the fact that the wind may seem to shift when it happens i pray and speak now that the authority of god would set on your shoulders ergo you're able to carry the glory as the priest carried the glory carried the ark so shall you carry the glory. And I pray for your mind. Now, we come against every ill will, every satanic attack. We come against every ill will of self and self-sabotage. I declare and decree now that you walk in life. We speak breaths of life now. Be restored in the place where you lay your head. Hallelujah. Be restored in the place where you lay your head. Be restored in the place where you lay your head. God, we give you all the glory. We give you the praise. I, 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 I speak that the angels would give encounters, experiences, and and now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was interesting. In the valley place, may you be lifted. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. (laughs) Hallelujah. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged. Although it's the valley, the valley produces uh, the best of of all. <laughs> Hallelujah. Be encouraged. The valley, the valley. Although it's it it seems so dark and damp, uh, the valley is where all of the minerals and the the best of the deposit is. So be encouraged, uh, jubilant, and to know that if if you call your name jubilant, that means there's jubilee, and that means you got a reason to praise him. I'm going to give you this, and then I'm going to shut up. Um, When we talk about Judah, we often just state that Judah means praise. 
Uh, but Judah uh, not only means praise, but it means to <laughs> aggressively go up to your enemy, grab them by the throat, by the neck with both hands, Lock your fingers at the back of their head and push your thumb into their esophagus until it breaks. Mm. The next time you give God praise, think about that and know that God is still able to do exceeding abundant above all that you ask or think. Hallelujah. Um, anyone else? Anyone else? All right. And I want you to know, um, I started singing that song this morning, but it's been stuck on me for the past two days. So uh, the Lord heard you. You are valuable in this year. Don't lose your value in your own mind. Well, uh, if if there's no one else, no one else. Well, let's do this. God, we say thank you uh, because you are our God. We say thank you because you are our God and you are king. But God, most of all, you are our father. And so we say thank you because you are awesome. So God, in the place of our faith, uh, where it seems rough, in the place where it seems uh, like we cannot make it through. We say thank you because you told us we'll make it to the other side. God, we give you glory because we are expecting you greatly. We expect your outpour. We expect your downpour. We expect the rain. Yes, Lord, we expect the rain. We expect the rain. We expect the rain. God, I speak to the atmosphere uh, for those that say it's dry. God, I speak to the atmosphere and cause the atmosphere to shift, that there be an atmospheric river, an atmospheric shift, so that the rain may come forth. Do in the atmosphere what you need to do, God, so that you may produce glory on levels like you want to produce. Don't stop moving until the rain comes, Father. I put a demand on heaven now. May there be physical manifestation of the dew, physical manifestation of the rain. And God, we give you glory. Uh, we give you praise. Well, um, let's do this. I don't want to just end with a goodbye. I want you to uh, think about this thing. I want you to, if this has blessed you anywhere, you can see yourself in it. On the count of three, I want you to end the call, not with a, a goodbye or have a good one. I want you to end the call with a shout of faith. So whatever you shout, however, however it be, hallelujah, on the count of three, one, take your phones off of you, two, three, and shout. <laughs>
you, Jesus.